This is a Dezac, uh, or Dezac pyramid ionize, uh, ionizer, and, uh, or negative ion generator. And I've got the case partially open because it turns out that it's not held together with screws. It seems to have, I don't know if it's heat staked or it's just clips, but it's quite hard to get open, so I had to kind of pre-pop it apart. So, um, actually, I don't know if I've actually popped it apart well enough. I think I may have to use the force. Screwdriver. Oh. Okay, that's better, that's better. There we go. It does look like it's heat staked. It looks like it's had uh, round pillars up and I've obviously burst them and I've been pulling it off. Or is it? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it looks like it is heat staked, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, don't care. I don't care for that much. I'd rather use screws, but then again, they probably don't want you opening these. There's a little bit of tape there. Oh, it's got a letter. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it's ha it had a label on it. Oh, is that a date label? 99? 30, oh, 34.99. So it must have been made in 1999, I'm guessing. It's got the strain relief built in. Um, and the circuit board here. Okay, very typical ionizer. It's got a whopping great resistor for the, the neon. Let's uh, pull this bit of sticky tape out of here. The neon is a wee bit disappointing because, oh blimey, it's a tiny neon, the cheap skates. Uh, it's a bit disappointing because they're using an orange neon under a blue indicator cap, so that doesn't work that well, you know, it's it, not a lot of light comes out. It's just a dull orange glow under the blue, because the neon puts out about 635 nanometer, which is an orangey red, and you know, viewed through a blue filter, narrow bandwidth, it just looks like orange through a blue filter. But now I've seen that, uh, I can understand why this uh, resistor here is orange-orange-yellow, that's 330k, so they're really limiting the current through that. That uh, is a huge resistor for that. Maybe they've learnt from uh, the mountain breeze uh, issues with the resistor size in that and the tendency for them to burn out, but this one is showing no signs of heat at all. It's got two 10 meg ohm brown, uh, brown, black, blue 10 meg ohm resistors and output, uh, and the usual 10 nanofarad capacitors, 103. At 630 volt, that is, that's very typical, very typical of an ionizer. <coughs> I'm not usually keen when they put the needles on the same circuit board as the multiplier, but on the low voltage end of the multiplier, they've got this huge channel here, which is going to help considerably. Um, and certainly these ionizers do seem to work, so that's fine. It's absolutely okay. The, it's not so critical at this end because that is pretty much the high voltage end. That's where those resistors are coming across the needles. So the, the output needle array is going to be pretty much at the same potential as the end of this uh, section of the multiplier. So yeah, it's interesting. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with ionizers, let me draw you, draw you a quick doodle. A uh, typical um, capacitive m multiplier version of the ionizer has, and I won't draw all the stages here, it's got live, neutral, and typically speaking, it's a, a line of capacitors. It's what's called a, pretty much a Walton Cockroft uh, capacitive diode multiplier. And it involves uh, a couple of uh, lines of the capacitors with interconnected with, and I'm just being careful here in case I screw up Yeah, It's uh, a ladder of diodes between them. And those diodes, in the case of a negative ionizer, always point down towards the uh, low voltage end. If they pointed the other way, it would be a positive ionizer, which is supposed to be not really an ideal thing. So uh, let's uh, finish it off. Um, and what happens is uh, the alternating AC current of the mains uh, alternately sort of shunts current backwards and forwards on these capacitors and it builds it up, it, it steps the voltage up uh, by solid state means, which is very simple and very reliable. And at the top you've got your, uh, make sure I'm still in frame here, you get your two 10 mega ohm resistors. 10 mega ohm. Uh, the diodes are usually uh, 1N4007. 
and the capacitors are usually 10 nanofarad, 630 volt, uh, and the output then just goes to the needle array. And in this case, in this uh, unit, as is so common here, they've got 22 capacitors, so it's uh, 11 capacitors on this side, 11 on that side. So this, this is a very abbreviated circuit diagram. And it steps the voltage up to a good few thousand volts above ground. Uh, but the, through the diodes it's effectively referenced to neutral, which in most uh, houses is referenced to earth. Uh, but uh, even if it was even if it was a two-pin plug and you got it in the other way around, it wouldn't matter. It's, uh, the resistors here protect you from making direct contact through the diodes with the mains, and the um, the uh, high voltage differential always finds the ground reference. It doesn't matter if it goes in live or neutral. The, the diodes uh, and diodes, the needles at the tip, the ionizing bit. That's these needles here. Um, they are charged up to the high voltage with a DC uh, voltage on them and because the area of charge is greatest at the sharpest uh, cur curvature, so to speak, the sharp points of the needle impart a charge onto the air and uh, as the air gets charged negatively it kind of like charges repel it, repels away and that's basically how they work. The, the air gets charged negative with respect to ground and then it uh, Fibs have got, fills the area around the ionizer and any dust also gets uh, charged with that negative charge and it tends to precipitate it out to um, any grounded surface, that's the walls or the floor or anything like that. And that's fundamentally it. I mean, apart from the fact they didn't use the blue neon, which is disappointing, um, they could even if they'd used a wee orange tip it would have been nice just to make it light up. Maybe they originally did intend to use the blue one but it turned out to be maybe a bit too dim or less reliable or more expensive than the, the neon one. But um, yeah, other than that, uh, you know, it is, it's actually quite a nice little ionizer. It's, it's also very neat with that sort of um, pyramid effect. Uh, it's also notable that um, they've got little cones here to actually help guide the needles into the, their positions in there. So yeah, it's a nice enough little ionizer. It's very common style, but um, yeah, it's... it's not too bad at all.